also known as Oruga, is a shape-shifting alien monster that fought Godzilla in the 1999 movie Godzilla 2000. Orga is a deformed and corrupted clone of Godzilla, with a hunchback, a cavity on its shoulder, a small rectangular head, a stubby head, I mean a stubby tail, and two massive hands. He also has a laser shooter on his shoulder. But yeah, he didn't know it was more towards the games. He was going more towards the movies and actual monsters. Anyways, I hope you do enjoy both of our narrations. I'm just clarifying what it actually is. Anyways, that doesn't matter. What matters is he got Orga right, and I guess that's what really matters. Orga, there's really nothing to say besides what he said. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. So yeah, let's get into the next Number four. Megalon, also known as Megaro, is a kaiju who first appeared in Toho's 1970 film, um, 1973 film, Godzilla vs. Megalon. Megalon is a bipedal, humanoid, beetle-like burrowing insect standing at 55 meters and weighing 40,000 metric tons and the god of the subterranean nation of Cetopia. It said it's alright is because the movies are accurate, but the only reason it's inaccurate is because in the games, he goes underground, Megalon digs, and while in the movies he flies, uh, that's all you can really say about Megalon besides his beam that comes out of his head. Uh, he digs in the ground, and it's kind of annoying in the game. To be honest. But yeah, uh, he comes in at the number four spot. Coming in at number three is Mega Godzilla 3. Now, I wanted it to low key be Mega Godzilla 2, but I never thought he was powerful like Mega Godzilla 3. While they both basically had the same moves, the one thing that really always stood out about Mega Godzilla 3 was his ice blaster ray from the center of his chest. And in uh I don't know, in the game he just seems way more powerful than Mega Godzilla 2, and that's why he comes in at the number 3 spot. Um, I'm pretty sure he can fly, if not just hover a little bit, and for that, I just, I don't know, he's just always been one of my favorites, and yeah, that's why he comes in at number three. Now, I was hesitant to put this on here, but coming in at the number two spot, it's going to have to be... Mecha King Ghidorah. Now, I wanted to put regular King Ghidorah because, I don't know, I just always liked King Ghidorah. But Mega King Ghidorah drains uh, your, I guess you could say, okay. atomic breath or lightning powers, which, whichever one it is. Anyways, it's, uh, it's, uh. Make a King of Dora for you. It can fly. Uh, all their rage moves are cool. Uh, that's why I always liked the games was the rage moves. And we'll get into more of that in Save the Earth. But anyways. Coming in at number one is, you know. You know. Godzilla 2000. Now, I was going to put Godzilla 90s, but same with the King Adora, Mega King Adora situation. I always thought Godzilla 2000 was stronger for one reason. His rage move, to me, was a little bit stronger. And like I said, we'll get into more of that in the Saves the Earth. Maybe, or we could save that for a separate video and do that in the future. I'll let you all decide on that. Anyways, um... I had to put a Godzilla at number one, and for a, I guess you could say, uh, honorable mention for me would have to be Baragon and Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, but since they never added him for a PS2 exclusive, I didn't add him, so I'm gonna let my, or, or, I was gonna say my homeboy, but 
you know him as Jason Heath. I'll let him uh, do the honorable mention right about now. Rodan, also named Radon, is a fictional monster or kaiju which first appeared in Godzilla's, I mean Toho's, 1956 film Rodan. Produced and distributed by Toho. Following its debut standalone appearance, Rodan was going to be featured in numerous entrees in the Godzilla franchise, including Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, Invasion of Astro Monster, Destroy All Monsters, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, Godzilla Final Wars, Legendary Pictures, uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters.